Happy first day of December, everybody. It is the last month out of the year, and we are starting it off quite the gloomy fashion. You can see clouds are dominant over our sky today. And of course, with that rain we saw earlier, it is no wonder why we were just so much cooler than what we were yesterday. Nine degrees cooler than what we were 24 hours ago here in Rockford, 13 degrees over in Freeport. Right now, temperature wise, 39 degrees. So we are right around 9 to 10 degrees cooler. So we were close to that 50 degree mark, but now barely reaching the 40s. But this number has been extremely lucky as even our lows today really haven't been that cold. We saw a low of 37 degrees here in Rockford, 35 over in Freeport. That's why most of the precipitation we saw early on today had pretty much just been rain. Maybe a fat snowflake here or there, really wet, but overall we have had no concerns of snow whatsoever. If we take a look at our Anderson Nissan Max Storm Tracker, we can see that system starting to push off to our east, but we're still not out of the woods just yet for our rainfall. As we head hour by hour, temperature wise, not really moving, but you'll notice, yes, we do have an additional bit of rain and even a little bit of a wintry mix in the next couple hours here coming up. And as we head towards the evening time, really don't get much away from that 34 degrees. That's why a lot of this is showing snow. I'm not overly confident that we will be receiving snow. Like earlier today, we're just going to be a little bit too warm. So I think most of the stuff that's going to be coming down will be on the rainier side, but still a snowflake here or there cannot be ruled out. But as we head towards the evening when temperatures finally cool off to slightly below zero or below zero degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, we could see an additional snowflake or two. We dry out by the evening time and as we head into tomorrow, even though we won't be, we won't see the sunshine, we'll be completely cloudy, but at least we'll be dry. So that's, gonna, that's kind of the trend for Saturday is cloudy and dry. And as we head towards evening time, we actually do get an additional chance for some rain as another little disturbance in our atmosphere makes its way through. And again, with this, similar expectation to what we saw earlier today, where a lot of it's going to be more rain. And if we do get any snowfall, it's going to be a little bit of those wetter snowflakes because temperature wise, really getting close to that 34, 33 degree temperature. And as we head into Sunday, those are going to move off by the time we get towards the noon hour, leaving us with some cloudier skies heading into Monday. And when it comes to rainfall, yeah, rainfall as well as maybe even a little bit of snowfall or wet. So having an umbrella handy this weekend, a very good idea. Seeing an 80% chance Saturday night into Sunday, which was a 70% chance. But again, this will be all done by the noon hour. And after that, we actually stay dry Sunday night into Monday. But then another little disturbance comes Monday night into Tuesday. Temperature wise, highs look to remain right around that 40 degree mark. Going to be tough to get close to that freezing mark. That's why a lot of this precipitation that we're going to be seeing, I'm expecting more towards rain or the very wet snowflake. And as we head towards next week, well, again, see that little disturbance acting up Monday night into Tuesday, seeing those rain chances. Highs still remain in the upper 30s near that 40 degree mark. But if you don't like the cooler weather, well, good news as next week on Thursday and Friday, temperatures look to be close to the 50 and even some mid 50s.